back your homes or restore your dead to life. But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Where are all of the Werewood trees? We know that they are few and far between now that the First Men and the Andals destroyed a lot of the trees while settling land in Westeros. But now that Bran Stark is heading south, won't he need Werewoods nearby to allow him to have visions of the past? A lot of fans want to go deeper into the visions that Bran has for not only of what has already happened, but also visions of the future. This has taken us directly into the discussions of what historical events we may see in Season 7 and 8, as well as Bran's limitations due to his greenside abilities. Like will he ever be able to just be Bran Stark, or will he have to keep away from friends and family and live off on his own like the last Three-Eyed Raven? One thing seems sure, Bran needs to have access to Werewoods wherever he goes so that his greensight can become its strongest. So where are they? How many are left? and is Bran safer south of the Wall, or will Winter follow him no matter where he goes? By Winter, I mean the White Walker army. Now that Bran is marked, it seems plausible that he might unintentionally grant the dead access through the Wall. Anyway, as far as Werewoods go, you would be surprised how many are said to still be standing. A lot of castles in the realm have one or more ancient Werewoods and gardens and local forests. For example, it is said that every northern castle contains at least one werewood within their respective godswood. Casterly Rock, the Lannister castle in the Westerlands, have a twisted werewood in their stone garden. And the same goes for Highgarden, the castle and house seat of the Tyrells. They have a godswood with three separate werewood trees. It has been speculated that Garth Greenhand, a legendary figure dating back to the Age of Heroes, planted the heart trees there. The Red Keep also has a weirwood, and so does Harrenhal, the place where Rhaegar and Lyanna first came to know each other. And it was where Rhaegar won the tournament and crowned Lyanna as the Queen of Love and Beauty. Even though Harrenhal is in ruins, it contains a living weirwood within its godswood. If Bran needs to go back in a vision and visit Harrenhal for some reason, he should have no problem connecting with the tree there. Let's get back to the weirwood at the Red Keep. If we are right about our theories involving Bran trying to communicate with the Mad King, the tree in the Godswood of the Red Keep should enable that theorized plot to take place. Riverrun has a werewood as well, and with a number of important characters in the area, who knows what events might play out. There's Arya Stark, who just killed Walder Frey. There's the Hound, along with a Brotherhood Without Banners. You know, the band of outlaws that in the books follow the guidance of a former Stark family member. And then there's Nymeria. Arya's long-lost direwolf. I don't know if we are going to spend much time in the Riverlands now that season 7 and 8 will be shorter than normal, especially if Game of Thrones is trying to wrap up all of the major plots in the story. Of course, there's also Winterfell, where we would expect Bran to travel to once he hears that the Starks have taken the castle back. We've seen the Weirwood at Winterfell quite a bit already, and since Sansa and Jon are about to pick their storylines back up there in season 7, it wouldn't be too crazy to see it one more time in all of its glory. At Storm's End, the seat of House Baratheon, there used to be a weirwood tree, but it was recently burned as part of an offering to the Lord of Light. Yes, compared to the number of heart trees that were alive and growing back in the days of the Children of the Forest, the sacred trees are quickly vanishing, but for the time being, there are still plenty of heart trees to aid Bran Stark in wherever his journey takes him. There are more werewoods than what I just mentioned. These were only just the main ones. Do you think the location of some of these werewoods are going to play a part in the information that Bran is able to tap into with his green sight? Let me know in the comments. As always, have a great day, take care, and I will see you tomorrow.